Hi YouTube, so it's Carrie here. Um, today I just wanted to kind of go over a topic that I feel like everybody has to deal with, um, whether that's on a good level or not so good. We all experience loss and gain in different ways, and we all have different emotions and different levels of those emotions that play into that. So I think that love being the most important feeling, emotion, um, thing that we can gain is, it's something that we all share, but we all share it differently. And it's so complex and nothing about it makes sense. And yet we still look for it. We still hold on to it. We still grieve it. And it's something that we, we can at least all be connected on that level. So I just kind of wanted to hit on some things that I think um, maybe some people need to hear, or at least I need to hear, um, or that I need to say, because I think that sometimes we get a little caught up in our lives and we get a little, I don't know, distracted or absent-minded when it comes to how other people are feeling and how our actions and our reactions can have an effect on how they're feeling. And I think that we just need to kind of step back and get outside of ourselves a little bit, try to look at things through other people's eyes instead of our own, because it's easy to get caught up in your own your own crap. It's, it's easy to think that you have so much going on and you're so stressed and you have so much that you're dealing with that you don't even have time for anybody else's and that you don't even have the energy for it. But if we aren't sharing, <laughs> if we aren't sharing that, that connection with each other, then we, we're going to go nowhere. It's, society cannot thrive without connection. And we might all say that we're connected, we're on social media, we text, we message, we, you know, like each other's photos and this and that, but none of that is real. None of that is an actual connection. That is just a false representation of something that we want to portray. It's not who we really are. Who we really are is how we interact with people face to face and how we treat people face to face and who we prioritize and what we prioritize and who we put first and, and who we put last. and and our patience for one another and our understanding for one another and the fact that if we don't understand each other that doesn't mean that we have to hate each other so I just kind of wanted to read a little something I had wrote up um, a, a little while back about love and its value I guess would be a, a good way to explain that so so why we need to feel love love inflames something inside of us that nothing else can even touch it's uncontrollable and intoxicating. Love lifts you up. It doesn't hold you down. Love encourages. It gives us strength. Without love, we are just empty vessels, weak and helpless. You see, love is something every human needs as much as they need food to grow, water to live, and the sun to keep warm. It is vital. It is necessary. We do not grow without love. We do not even survive. A loveless soul is nothing but a soldier of Satan devouring any life it can touch. It is misunderstood. Love gives, but yet sometimes we believe love can take. Jealousy, envy, glorification is not love. You cannot love if you demand control. You cannot love if it's possessing, possession. Love wants its focus to flourish, to find every bit of happy it seeks. It wants to only fill the cup, not take from it. Love is not self-serving, it is generous. It wants to give life to what is not. It is a feeling, an energy inside the deepest pit of a soul that is created in birth, instilled into our soul, and as true as the color of our eyes. Love is truth, it cannot deceive. And additionally, love is not a weapon. It is not appearing, if it's appearing that love is causing pain, in any way, for any reason, it is not love. That is a fallacy. It is not real. Love is not pain. We must not be fooled. I think a lot of times people think that 
a part of relationships and loving and sharing that with one another has to come with some sort of pain and, and sacrifice and I don't know maybe punishment in a way or at least accountability for negative interactions and I don't believe that love is truly negative I don't believe that love has to be pain or that it should be pain or that it that it has to hurt it shouldn't hurt that's not what love is love is is patience it's kindness it's gentle love is gentle love is care love love is is selfless it is not self-seeking it is not self-serving of course we all have to make sure that that cup that we're giving to others to fill theirs the ours is full itself because if we don't have anything in our cup we cannot fill someone else's cup however we can't just let ours we can't just take and take and take until our cup is overflowing and and then look at other people and say well if i give you any of mine then i don't have what as much as i have now so i can't i can't give it away that's not what it is you know there, there's something i've read once that's if you have more than you need for your table to give, then don't close your doors. Just make a bigger table. Bring more people in. Give it to others, more people. If you have more than you need, why are you holding on to it? And I think that goes into love. A lot of us don't realize how much love we have to give because we're so wrapped up in keeping it to ourselves because, because we get selfish. We're a selfish society. We're a selfish generation. and. It's very unfortunate because we're only, by keeping it to ourselves, we're only taking it from ourselves. We're only holding ourselves back from all of the things that life and people are, are able to give to each other. And what is life without love? What is anything without love? That's why we're here to experience that and to have that with each other. I think it's very important and I think it's something that we need to take a step back and slow down and think before we speak. Words can hurt just as much as a cut of a knife and they can last forever. Scars do not go away and emotional scars are just the same. So don't be quick to react. Don't be quick to judge and don't be quick to turn others away. It's, you never know what little thing could make such a big difference. It's, it's like a ripple effect. You throw a tiny, tiny little pebble into a, a pond and it doesn't just affect that little area that you threw it into. No, it slowly but surely ripples out and touches everything in sight. And that's the same with our words, and that's the same with our actions, and, and our reactions, and how we give and take from one another. So, you know, we, I myself have flaws, and I myself do and say things that I later regret, and I think having self-accountability is extremely important, especially in today's world, because nobody wants to be accountable for the things that they do or say anymore they want to make an excuse or or just disregard it completely or you know they don't want to actually admit their faults or try to make any correction for those either so if we all could just you know every once in a while if you can i mean i'm not saying it's every day you got to do this all the time every single interaction but at least try to remember to when you get worked up or you get upset or you get in a hurry and impatient or or frustrated or whatever when you're talking with somebody else stop and think before the words come out of your mouth do not spit them at people before you've even had a chance to consider what you're actually saying and the same goes with your actions. Don't tell somebody one thing or make them feel like you're a certain kind of person or you, you're, you're this kind of way 
when it's a fallacy. Don't be unauthentic because it will catch up with you. People aren't stupid. People, intuition is a, a very um, universal thing. We all have it. And 75% of the time, it is right. So people find out, they'll know. Just be transparent and, and if that's who you are, that's who you are. You don't have to change but they don't have to like you for that either. So don't make them think you're somebody else just to get their friendship so that you can use them or manipulate them or just to gather more people around you. Just be who you are and we all have our own flaws. I've got my own too. There's people out there that don't, don't like my personality or don't like me as a person. And there's people that absolutely enjoy my company and, and do. And that's okay. That's why we're all human and that's why we're all different. So just take care of the people that are taking care of you and, and, and love those that love you and do it in the right way and let go of what you don't need. Let go of what holds you down and let go of what you've, what you've gained from, from being unauthentic. Be accountable for yourself and just share kindness be generous with your heart and and give it to everybody that you can because you never know what one interaction could do to somebody else or multiple people I mean something so small something so simple can completely elevate somebody else's life and and give them so much more than you could ever imagine or on the other side it could take everything away from them and not not just on a materialistic level or a physical level but emotionally and mentally it could rob them of everything that they have and all you did was say one sentence you don't know what you could do with your words so just Think them through and just be kind and it will really pay off. Karma is real. The world revolves. Everything is in a constant revolution and same goes with your actions. What you put out, it's a boomerang. It comes right back to you. It might not come back right away, but eventually that energy that's been put out, it has to come back. It, it's It's literally science like that's how the world works we're all made of energy and what we give we get so just keep it in mind and be patient with others but definitely be patient with yourself be kind to yourself be gentle to yourself because I mean you, you can't get what you, you can't give what you don't have so yeah, um, that's just what I wanted to get out there today. I wanted to kind of get a little bit of that off of my chest um, for my own sanity and to make myself evaluate my actions and my words. Um, and I thought that it might be a good thing for other people to consider as well because we're all human and a lot of times we ex experience the same kinds of, of trials. So um, I hope somebody gets something from this video and that it can be beneficial for even one person out there and if it is then I've done my job here and I feel like something told me I needed to make this video so I hope that you guys all enjoyed it um, and I hope to make more content like this so that maybe I can help others be able to evaluate and understand their own feelings and maybe maybe have a positive effect on some people and make them feel better about who they are and who they can become. So thank you guys for watching again um, and hope to see you later. Bye.